great. You look great. And, and those you. shoes are sensational. Thank you. I mean, really, they're like, what the? F I mean, really? <laughs> I think very, very good German accent, by the oh, way. Oh, yes, I May forgot I you were German. So. I, I wasn't trying to mm -hmm. be in any way. Sure. Wow. No. It's just, you know, people do it with me with the accent. I can hardly hear your accent at all. Oh, thanks. I can't do your accent, by the way. So. And I can't do yours either. No. It's very good. I, I had a nice time when I was in Germany. What part of Germany are you from? Uh, close to Hanover in the north. I've been there. Really? Yeah, I've been to Hanover. And I've... Well, do you know, in all honesty, I was with the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I know. Well, that's a good excuse. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was good traveling around with them, and I went to Hanover. And nice. Did they were doing time? a show, and I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> when did you move to America? Uh, I don't know, for the past 20 years. You've been here? Really? Gosh, very good at acting and stuff, aren't you? Thank you. No, you are. I remember oh, in, the, in Glorious that. Bastards was the first time I saw you when you played... Uh, the German? Yes. So her name was von Bridget. Hammerschmidt or something? Bridget von Hammerschmidt. Oh, that was great. Oh. I know. That was really fantastic. Did you have a nice time with Quentin? I know that. Yeah, I've, I've heard you're uh, a little obs you know, obsessed with Quentin. I'm not obsessed with him. Oh, Who right. do Some, somebody well, I know him. Just because I know him <laughs> and I know where he lives and I look in his window, it doesn't mean that I'm obsessed. <laughs> Do you know we talked before, of course? We have, on the phone. Yes, because your boyfriend was on the show, Josh. And I happened to see you I know. And I he know. took the call. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He you know, better, he that, better. You? No, that would see. If you'd have been thinking ahead, you would have had a clip of that, but you don't think ahead, do you? <laughs> do you and Josh like to, uh, you know, smoke uh, reefer and walk around outside and look at stuff? Who doesn't? <laughs> Al-Qaeda. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but they're smoking the wrong crack. Yeah, apparently it looks like yeah, yeah, no. they're not chilled out. So what have you been up to then? What's going on? This, that, this is a serial killer uh, there. I can tell by the way it's told. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I play a very interesting character. She has Asperger's, which is a form of autism. Yes, so. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's been a, a, a real challenge. Yeah. Did you day. talk to anyone with Asperger's about we it? Have, we have an advisor on the show who has Asperger's, and right. he helps me to not fall flat on my face. It's very difficult, isn't it? It, it's, it is. It has been pretty difficult. Very strange. It's, it's quite an odd... Uh, do we call it an uh, an infirmity? Is it an infirmity or is it a condition? It's a condition. A condition, yeah, right? You know, you uh, it is. It, it, it's just it's difficult because it's so opposite of what your instincts would be. You know, like right. you can't read social cues. You can't understand why somebody would be upset if you call them ugly. You know, it's sort of like a weird. Yeah, I, I should probably get checked. <laughs> It is Hollywood. There's yeah. lots of people. I yeah, don't know. I know. I, I think I may have run into a couple of times. Um, I, it, was that Ted Levine, one of the actors there? Yes. Can you believe it? Ted Levine, who played the the all time great performance of a serial killer in Silence of the Lambs. Very true. The lotion in the basket. Yeah. 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 That I think that is one of the greatest performances of a serial killer sure. I've ever seen. But he's not the killer in this. Well, I can't tell you. Oh right. Why? Because you've got Asperger's, or because. Uh, <laughs> Or be, it would be a spoiler. It would be a spoiler. Right, okay, I get yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I hope he's not. Well, no, I, I, I'm guessing he's not, because he's already been. Oh, do you have a, a, a photograph of Ted Levine? Yeah. yeah. Show me the photograph. Look, there you go, there you go. Yes, he's I, I think he, he might be the killer, though. You think? <laughs> really? Why? Look at him. <laughs> he looks like Buffalo Bill from Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch? Do you watch the serial killer? I don't. I used to watch that a lot. That kind of thing. I mean, like and read like, about them and stuff. Serial, serial killers? killers. Yeah. And now yeah. I don't. I don't why? know why. I don't know. I think it was after I had kids. I it, I yeah. didn't entertain me in the same way. Yeah. You know. I don't have kids. I have a cat. I worry about my cat. How many cats do you have? We got one cat. That's the perfect amount. <laughs> <laughs> it took me seven years to convince Josh to get a cat. It's it's and, tricky. Cats and are tricky. Then, and yeah. And now he's obsessed with the cat. I can't. Really? Oh. Like he, the cat hates me. Like he won't even. Come the cat, over the cat like doesn't that. hate you. He just, it just doesn't care about know, you. Just That's a, uh, cat. it's that. It's, it's thinking about cat things. It's thinking, where can I lie down? Where can I poo? What? No, no. Eat? It's yeah. when we go to sleep and the cat comes into our bed and is literally between us and it's like this. To me. <laughs> and then cuddles. John. What, what, what does the cat do again? Do, do me the cat do again. <laughs> That's horrible. That was great. I, you kidding me? Oh. I'd pay you for that cat. <laughs> I wish you'd given me time to flex before you started pushing <laughs> stuff around. I felt, I felt the muscle. Oh, really? No. I, I wish you could tell me where it was. Uh, <laughs> we have to take a break, uh, okay. and then we'll come back. We're just going to advertise some stuff. Great. Some excellent products. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Diane and I were just talking about uh, cups, actually. Uh, she noticed that my cup was a little more uh, ornate. Your finger just touched me by accident. Oh, did you feel that? I, of course I did. I was like, oh, oh man. <laughs> it was like I was Josh and the cat was on the bed. <laughs> I'm a very touchy person, though. Are you really? Yeah, I mean, now, is that stereotypically German or not? No, not at right. all. Right. But Germans don't even, like, hello, the kids. They don't even shake hands. But yet, the thing is, I've met a lot of Germans who are not like that at all. I was really surprised when I went to Germany and everybody was kind of like, oh, hello, ha, 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 drinks this, put this really? down your pants. Yeah. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Um, it might be me. I yeah. don't think so. I, I didn't find them reserved at all. Oh, good. Well, that's good. 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 They were Bavarians, though. I was. Oh, 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 totally different. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. still Germans. <sighs> well, that's to be debated. That's uh, a debate. Between, you know, the North and the South. Oh, of course, because you're a Northern German. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you go back there much? You and Josh go back there, walk around, smoke reefer and that kind of thing? <laughs> Hard to get reefer there, where I'm from. But, you know, we do, we do. Never found it particularly difficult, to be honest. <laughs> um, With your hook up. Uh, we'll talk. Anyway, it's been so long my hookups are all dead. <laughs> mm. Or retired. Oh. oh, it's okay. I'm quite happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you and Josh go there and walk up and down? We do sometimes. You know, I mean, I, I'm from a very small village, so mm. it's not really Hanover. But so, you know, we go back once or twice a year. Do you go to the small village and say, hey, bitches, I'm in Hollywood. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. That's this bar um, after school that, all, you know, the kids would go. A and, bar after well, it's, school? Well, it's like a cafe that turns into a bar. Right. And when I was growing up, that was like the coolest bar you could work as a, as a girl, like you become a waitress and people right. thought, you know, only, they hired only the cutest girls. And I tried to get a job there for two years and they wouldn't hire me. You didn't make the cut? Well... I gotta see this village. <laughs> Needless to say, I make a point of going back there every single of time course. I'm in Germany. Yeah. So, just just to gonna rub like, it in. Oh, my rub greatest movie has just come out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And let me give you a DVD. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let us work, yeah. All right, well, we're out of time. Oh, that's, that's sad. So you want me to tell me who the killer is then? Just say it. Just say it. Get it out. I can't. I can't. you got to watch. All right. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. That's fine. Uh, next time. Next time what? Next time come back. Are you going to come back then? I hope so. Uh, well, that's nice. Is this your awkward moment? Yeah, you want to do an awkward pause? A little awkward pause, and then we'll bleed into a, a comfortable moment, and then we'll just go to the commercial break with no talking at all. We could. Okay, let's do it. Okay.